it's morning time <laughs> morning time and i'm in the backyard sun is out I haven't been out here this is the first time for the season that i've come to the backyard this is Alexine. Hello, guys. Hope you can see me. I've just been wanting to, to um, do a little survey of the yard, see what started growing. <laughs> this yard, we used to never come out here. It was overtaken with bamboo. The whole yard was a, um, like a bamboo grove. And on the ground, there was not grass. There were something similar to these leafy plants. Is that mint? I'm not sure if that's mint. Let me see. It doesn't smell like it. But yeah, the whole yard used to be overtaken with that, that weed. And um, my husband rented a tiller and turned over the earth and planted grass seed last year. And now we have a, a yard, a proper yard of, of, of grass. So when we first moved to this property, I remember there were tulips out here and mint just bordering the house. Um, I'm just surveying. Like what potentially could this turn into? That's my neighbors, um, they're having some work done next door. Okay. I never come out here. <laughs> and my husband was just out here last weekend mowing this grass and it has grown back up just that fast. I wanna say it's like, um, is that like eight inches just about? be part of the, the back of the house and when I'm washing dishes and look out through the kitchen window this is what I see um, but yeah I wanted to come over here and check out this this tree right here. Hope there's no wild animals. I saw a fox back here. And um, we don't normally have um, wild animals. We, just, we thought it was a coyote and it, <laughs> we were so alarmed. So I think coyote and fox have been spotted um, in the neighboring city. I know my cousin said they were Fox and coyote facing off in her backyard. So yeah, this is um I think this is a catalpa tree. And it in some seasons it flowers. Look at my hand <laughs> in proportion to this this leaf. <laughs> it's so large. Larger than my face. <laughs> Larger. I don't know, but it's not as large as um, those banana leaves I've, I've seen in people's videos, but it's pretty impressive. And then over here, you can see some of the bamboo. It's behind the fence now. And um, we had someone professional come in and uproot the rhizomes because under the ground, the way bamboo grows, it's not just a single stalk um, or with a root. The, the um, I think it's called rhizomes, and they run horizontal underground. So there's like a rod going crossways underground with many offshoots of bamboo growing up from one. And do you know these things can grow 
like in a single day, like maybe the day before there was no plant. In a single day, you could see it rise up to like hip height. And then the next day you look out and that plant would be taller than, than a person. But yeah, it's pretty in the beginning, but um, it's a very aggressive plant. So it's not overtaking our yard now because we have some underground barrier, some kind of material that it can't penetrate. And if a few spare ones happen to crop up, crop, crop up then it's important to come and, and uproot it immediately. <laughs> but I like bamboo. It was very pretty aesthetic, but we just had no, our yard was dark. Um, there was no space for us to gather. And in the winter, if it snowed, it was interesting because the bamboo would, um, the weight of the snow would cause them all to, to bend over and create sort of, it was like a cave. So it was fascinating, but um, we lived with that for uh, a long, long time. And now we're just ready and happy for a change. We let the sunlight in. And uh, see what we will do with this new space. It has a lot of potential. Look. That's the kitchen window from the outside. Hey. I'm glad I came out here. So, once again, good morning from Maryland, U.S. You can maybe see some of the neighborhood off in the distance. <laughs> see you on the next one, guys. Bye.